G'day legends, welcome back to another Friday of install, which you know, it's actually Wednesday morning. But we've got beers, that's the number one important thing here. So for today's install, just so you know, if you can't tell, Jelly Roll, you probably read the title, you're here because we're doing the Roof Molly. Woohoo! Have a look at this thing. So this is actually a roof console that we've developed for the JB74 Jimny that goes on that way. And you throw your miscellaneous items up there, wallets and I don't know, keys, phones, whatever you want up here. Nice little thing, a little bit of a pattern if you want to try and, it's not really made to strap shit. it's just made for bolting up there and throw a few things in there out of the way. Beers, maybe stubby coolers. So, things you're gonna need for this install, the number one thing, beer. So, ah, that's a great sound, legends. Cheers, legends. Mmm, that actually goes down too well for 8.30 in the morning. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Pirate life, have a go on this one. I actually, I know I've had this one a few videos now, but I'm assuming that a lot of you guys are new to new to our channel or new to our install videos. Cause we've got a few subs now, so every every install we're on the beers and I try to do different beers and you know, a bit of beer critiquing. But this one is something I've fallen in love with, so. And that Hawaiian pale ale from Ballistic. Mm. Anyways, back to the install. Thanks, so, you. a few things you're gonna need. A trim tool would be nice, either of these sort of trim tools. You can get trim tools out of super cheap, pretty cheap. Um, or you can just get a flat blade screwdriver and get in there and make a bit of a mess, but you won't see it when this is on. A four mil, I believe, four mil Allen key, 10 mil spinner, and obviously the bolt supplied. Oh, and I don't know how this is gonna work yet, so you guys get to do this with me, but most likely a Stanley knife or a Stanley blade or a knife out of the kitchen. Just steal one out of the wife's kitchen. Just don't let her catch it, because she'd be fucking mad. Anyways, um, so you're gonna need that so we can cut a hole in the roof, but it's a hole already there. It's the first time. Now this is this is a bit of a shame for us, but this is the first time we're gonna do modifying of a, a vehicle. It's not really modifying. It's like, it's just a little tiny, just a little fly <laughs> Nothing. But yeah, we're doing it. We don't want to, but this is the first time, and it'll probably be the only time but it's the only realistic way to put this in, so, you know, I love it. <laughs> right, so let's get into it. First thing we do is we jump in the car, grab a few bits and pieces, I'll grab this. Al's gonna sneak around the other side. What? I'm gonna be wise today, so it's gonna be quite warm. We're up in the mid 30s or something, 33, so I'm gonna bring my beer in, so I can stay hydrated. So first thing we're gonna do today, <clears throat> So we're gonna get it under here. Now this takes a bit of effort to get it out. <laughs> My bad. The first time I pulled that out, it actually was like a lot of effort, but now I've had it out a couple of times. And you'll see that you've got two switches in here, two plugs. So plug that back in, you just squeeze it, pull it out. Happy days, and there's one there and there's one in here or something. I don't really know what's going on with that one. Oh, it goes in there. Okay, cool. So anyways, that's a, I didn't pull this out. So that's that one out. I should close this up for safety. Now, if you look up the back here, so we've got this out. If you look up the back here, we've got, in the roof, we've got this one and this one, these two plastic covers. So we just want to get in under them, pull them out. This why trim tools are so good, because you can see that little barbed piece there. Trying to get it with a screwdriver could be quite difficult, but with this, it just goes in, just pulls it out once... One sneaky swifty swoop. Uh, there you go. Straight out there too. Put this down here in the seat. Now, the next step is you've got to, you feel around in here, right, up inside this lip, and you'll find a hole. Now, you need to put your finger on top on the hole, and then feel your thumb around where that is, and you feel it meet. And we just need to mark it. Like that. Yep, that's perfect. Oh, well, I'm marking the roof now. So that one's perfect. So what we're gonna do, just gonna try and cut a little hole there. See how I've marked that little hole? I'm just gonna do this. Look at that. We're in. It actually works better than I thought it was gonna work. So now I should be able to get my bolt in there on my Allen key and just bloody ream that out. Look at that. Let's get the other side. So this side's the same. So on this side, you can see, do the same thing. We feel around for the bolt. It's right there somewhere. Yep. 
right there. Now, you don't have to get the that mark dead on the center because as soon as you go to put the blade in, it'll find its way to the hull. I mean, because the blade's tapered and you swing it around, it'll find its way to the hull and all good. It'll guide itself in. We do the same again when I ream this out. Ream him out, there we go. Look at that, two beautiful holes in there. It's pretty simple, so that's not too bad for our first sort of having to modify. Righto, so we've got a couple of things to do here. So what you'll see here is we put a couple of slots, a couple of slots there. So we just hang the bolts in and we can just slide it in. That's the theory in my head. So we're gonna go ahead and put the first bolt in there. Put a bolt in up here. And you put this bolt in, put the bolt in from this side, and then we'll put the washer and nut on the inside there. So we'll put the 10 mil spanner up in there. Hit this in. Oh, yeah. Man, I, love, I love this car, eh? I just, mm -hmm. If you can't tell, I'm gonna, oh, wait. I don't know if you've seen it. Do it at the end. I'll do it at the end. So, you see Al redirecting my ADHD brain? I knew it was about. I was Hello? waiting for it to go. Oh wait, look at my shirt. So see what I'm doing now is push this up, line the slide up. Ah! We're gonna get the bolt to come back out. Boom. So now I'm in there. Okay, that was a bad move on James's behalf. Don't put these back bolts in first. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. We put the back bolts in after we do this. Put the back bolt in. Woo, that's a good looking roof console. It piled it up there, and we just found the hole. Oh. Yep, he's on. That was hard work, I had a bit of hydration break. Mm. Oh, we love it. Now, by the way, someone did say the other day, they think I have a drinking problem. Inaccurate, I don't actually have a drinking problem. Because <laughs> it's impossible to have a drinking problem, unless you, I'll tell you when you got a drinking problem. When you pass out in the couch, night before, holding your VB, you're like, and then you wake up at six in the morning, you're like, oh, and it's warm, and you're like, yeah, and you fire the day up, that's when you're gonna drink a problem. <laughs> All right, so, former Allen key, 10 mil spanner, put that up there on top of your nut, and you just go, when I find it, oh, spanner's the wrong way. One bolt on. Two. And then back here. Nice and easy. One. Oh, I should have put a washer on there. That's all right. Beautiful. And that's it. Roof console. Throw, throw, throw your interior light up there. Throw your phone up. A couple of tools up. Woo! Oh, get in there. Beautiful. It's not easy, legends. Remember where that goes. Plug in back in there. It's one there. Plug in back in here. Like so. And then just push the front up. Don't. Ah! Steve? What have you done, Steve? Ah! Oh! Now, just quickly, don't forget, mm, look at this beauty, mm, so much goodness out. Anyway, so after a few technical difficulties yesterday, where we actually cut the wrong revision drawing to try and fit this install, we are back. We got the right one cut. Let's pull this out, Al. Get that bad boy out. You can just fucking dangle down there. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you the new one. The difference of the new one is the flange that comes outwards, not inwards, um, here. So it actually picks up there and the light goes back in. A little boo-boo on our behalf. So I'm going to put the bolts in like we did yesterday. We'll jam them back in. Oh, it's up about my legs. Bolt, washer. Oh, wrong side, I did that wrong, I did this yesterday. So you put the washer on this side so it goes up against them slots. Put that in. Start her up. 
Yep, beautiful. Whatever in there. Boom, boom, boom. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I had a few beers yesterday, last night. And I'm struggling today, I'm sorry. We're gonna knock this out, we've got so much to do. So, up the back here we've got some, some bolts, which again, can slide onto. So you see I've got these ones hanging here anyway. So this is how we're gonna bloody pull these back out, because I need to come back out. And we're gonna go, and slot this guy in here like so and we're gonna have a look up here we're gonna get this one started up the back you get that one mm. yep <laughs> <laughs> maybe someone will hire me after pirate camco sacks me maybe somebody else out there will hire me who wants to hire me pirate must suck me i'm getting pretty shit this job I'm, I'm a great installer but you know it's not up their standards someone might want to hire me it'd be a bit of fun Put the spanner back in here on the nut, 10 mil spanner, 4 mil Allen key, and we just want to go, actually, no, yeah, we need to pull that up. So you need to push this back far enough too, before I go crazy, I'll do it up and show you. Make sure these are all lined up nice, yep. So we need to, so you need to push this back far enough here, so this light will actually go back in. So yeah, it's just a, just got the bloody, a little bit of a radius there. Perfect. Yeah! Righto, so then, light. Crank, oh, look at that! We've done it. Now back here, I'm not actually sure what bolts were supplied. I'm pretty sure we're gonna supply the dome bolts for the washer for here but for now I'm putting these on so it'll either be if it's a hex head like this it'll be a 10 mil spanner if it's an allen key head it's going to be a 4 mil allen key we'll do these ones up and I don't want to go crazy cranking stupid here because you can pull it up through the hood lining pretty easy it needs to be firm like no run no run of guns on this bit. there we go look at that that's it we are done right on legends that's a wrap on this one now if you like this content make sure you like subscribe leave us a comment and make sure you hit that notification button little bing bell all your comments make a huge difference and gives us all the support thanks again legends if you want to buy any of this stuff any merch any of that jelly roll merch don't forget Whee! jelly roll yeah the jelly roll you can buy any merch it's down below in the description click on the link straight out of the web page thanks all support legends see you next week Yoo!